similar to a transosseous equivalent repair for full thickness rotator cuff tears. The double row transtendinous pasta repair uses two 1.8 millimeter double loaded Y knot flex all suture anchors medially for minimal tendon disruption and two 4.5 millimeter pop lock knotless anchors laterally. From the articular side, the Ultra FRR dual purpose shaver blade is used to debride the edge of the tear and abrade the bone to remove soft tissue from the footprint. Once the footprint has been prepared, the edge bipolar RF probe is used to debride the bursa. The transtendinous location of the first anchor is found using a spinal needle. The Why Not Flex guide wire and cannulated switching stick are used to assist the insertion of the T-handle drill guide through the intact tendon and against the bone. After drilling the pilot hole with the 1.8 millimeter drill bit, the Why Not Flex anchor is inserted through the drill guide and into the bone using a mallet. The sutures are uncleated and the Why Not Flex anchor is set by pulling firmly on all four suture strands until the anchor is set. This process is repeated for the second anchor. While the anchor is being set, the Why Not Flex all suture anchor creates a 360 degree form fit fixation, contracting vertically while expanding laterally for strong fixation in bone with a small footprint. A pair of suture retriever forceps is used to pull the sutures through the anterior portal. A spinal needle and super shuttle is used to pass mattress stitches with all four suture limbs from each anchor. Starting anteriorly, all four knots are tied by viewing in the subacromial space. The suture from one knot on each anchor is cut using the katana suture cutter, leaving four suture limbs total. After the pilot hole is punched for the lateral row anchors, one suture from each knot is loaded into the 4.5 millimeter pop lock knotless anchor. The anchor is inserted until the laser line is flush with the cortex, the suture tensioned, and the anchor deployed and locked. This step is repeated for a second lateral row anchor using the two remaining suture limbs. The security of the repair is checked from the underside of the tendon to ensure adequate compression of the final repair.